Woo, what's up? I just got out of a hot tub and wanted to share. And it's something that, you know, we're all human. We deal with this like every every second of every day, right? Fear, anger, frustration, guilt, shame, all all of this. And it seems like everyone is constantly looking for some sort of relief from it, some sort of like you know, magic pill or like, I don't want to feel this way and this is bad. And I just want to swing the polarity on it and perhaps say, you know what? It's, it's luscious. It's sexy. It's, it's passion when you can drop the importance around it and see it for what it is, which is just simply an expression of the holy human experience the same that joy is, the same that excitement is, the same that elation is. It's all just body sensations. Some are pleasant and some are not. And you always get to choose in on that no matter what the situation is around you. You could be in the thick of chaos or disturbance or frustration or somebody pisses you off and you can still be so divinely human in that moment and consider the power and the energy that's in these emotions like anger and frustration and fear and feeling that energy like moving inside of you and it's in that moment just choosing to to literally cultivate that into something that benefits you and everyone around you. So for example, if someone in your life is pissing you off right now or says something that deeply offends you and you feel that, you feel it all wrapped up in one. You feel the hurt, you feel the shame, you feel the guilt, you feel the anger and you just simply say like, what's here for me? Can that anger actually inspire me to take an action in the direction of some place I wanted to go but was afraid before. Ah, oh, I'm really hurt. Like I feel deeply wounded. Can I just allow that sadness to be in my body and then simply see that this person is sending me love and attention in their own way. It may not be the way that you want to receive it, but sadness sometimes comes from just seeking attention and not getting it. But perhaps it's just you redefining what attention looks like and notice that, wow, if this person is directing this opinion at me, I feel loved. And then just simply let it go. Drop the importance around it because in the moment, your heart's still beating. You still got breath to pull in. You still got breath to exhale and give to the world. Like it's all good, right? You're still inside your skin and you're still safe. And then perhaps you can look outside of that and see, okay, you know, I, I got a house to live in. I got clothes on my back. I got my health. Like whatever it is that you can feel into that actually allows you to just experience the moment for what it is. Whatever is in front of you, you have everything that you require already inside of you to, to move it in a direction that inspires you, that ignites your passion, that lights up your creativity, that sends you into pleasant feelings of calm or excitement rather than unpleasant feelings of calm and excitement. It's always up to you, but it's all good either way. And I just wanted to share that out because I'm with you. I'm in it. I'm human and I feel it. And it's always just the most fun game of curiosity when I get to take those emotions that, that, that feel depleting and ask myself, how can I turn this into something that really lights my effing fire? Sending you so much love on this beautiful Thursday.